Hey, what's up? So, I enjoyed this movie. I loved it. I, I had such a great time with this movie. I don't know what people are going to say about this movie, but my personal experience, I felt good watching this movie. I laughed. I felt the emotional moments, which, surprisingly enough, didn't overstay. You know, there's some, there's some animations that have tried to, you know, blend, put in the emotional moments, but really push it. You feel like that emotional moment is taking a lot of time. But in this, it felt like there were pockets of emotional moments within the story that actually made me feel something, but they did not overstay enough to make me feel all sad. By the time I was walking out of the cinema, I was feeling good. Do you know how difficult it is these days to actually feel good after watching something? I mean, movies today are so, mm, they're so serious. They're so into themselves that they forget what they're supposed to do, which is just have fun, entertain, be stupid for once. So this, this movie, Garfield, took me back there, you know. So this story is more or less a father and son story. So it's more of where Garfield, if you ever thought of it to yourself, oh, where did Garfield actually come from? It gives you an idea of where he came from. It gives you an idea of uh, where the relationship with the owner actually began and the relationship as he grew up to become an adult. I thought that was a very good introduction. I thought they used some storytelling techniques to actually keep us, you know, give us an idea of the relationship between the three. There's Odi, there's Garfield, and there's the owner. Now, uh, for me, Odi was the MVP in this movie. Odi is one of, uh, after this, Odi has become one of my favorite characters in the Garfield, whatever. He is the man who makes stuff happen. He's the man working in the background. I mean, dog, not man. <laughs> He's the dog who's just making everything work. You know, in, in all the and you know Garfield. Garfield is like your everyday man. He's kind of lazy. No, he's very lazy actually. <laughs> All he does is eat. But you have Odi, his best friend who just makes stuff happen. So I, I actually really, really, really loved Odi for once in this m m movie. Now, this movie follows, as I said, Garfield and, and Odi and Vic. Vic is Garfield's dad. And so he was forced to do something in the past that actually led to Garfield now finding this new home. But then, during that period, he was also doing something else. There was something else that he was doing with his team, his gang. And one person among his gang was this uh, British cat, white female cat, that also was in that group, and something happened to her. And so in this movie, she's seeking revenge for something that happened. But then as you go on, you discover that she has her own motive, and she has two henchmen, one... <laughs> <laughs> the designs of these characters is out of this world. I absolutely enjoyed it. I think the creative people who came up with this were having a fantastic time. Those two henchmen are, they're, 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 I wouldn't call them two of my favorite characters, but every time that they popped up, yeah, they made me kind of laugh. And they also play into the story by the time you get to the end. So that's the gist of the story. There's a cat that wants to take revenge, and then we get to follow Vic and Garfield's relationship, which is father and son. So they have a road trip. They they tried to go and break into a lactose farm, <laughs> which for me was like the funniest, funniest moment in the film. So they go, you know, they have to break into this farm and the farm is, you know, high tech security. High tech security that cannot be broken into. And, and, and you, it's so well guarded that no animal can actually penetrate apart from those visitors who want to go in and see the stuff. So they have to go and ask the help from, you know, a uh, disgruntled uh, ma mascot called Otto. Otto is like a cow. And he has, you know, he's living outside the farm, but inside the farm is the love, or, or you know, the, uh, the love of his life. You know, and so the love of his life is like, you're my day, and then he's like, you're my night. They have that you know, cute relationship thing. And, and every time that he would go into a monologue, I would just die laughing because there's some really, really funny moments with that cow. And, and, and so they ask the cow for help. And so the cow has to now teach them how to break into that, you know, <laughs> into that farm. And so different characters are given different roles. There are so many funny moments within that particular scene that at that moment, that's when I felt like the movie actually began because the moment they, they even used the Mission Impossible theme 
in some scenes when they are explaining some things and it goes it goes insane so basically what i'm trying to say is that if you're just looking for something fun to watch if you have kids this would be perfect this would be a perfect movie for your kids it would be a perfect movie for you if you're feeling down if you've ever had father issues if you hmm, if you've ever had family issues i think yes there's a there's a theme of family very very strong there's also a theme of friendship you know otto uh, odi otto and garfield that those three fantastic so the, the voice work was also very good surprisingly enough you know you remember everyone was complaining about chris pratt but Samuel L. Jackson is in, in, in this movie, and there are so many other talents that are in this movie. Surprises, surprises actually. I don't want to spoil it for people. There are very, very good surprises in the movie. And the end sequence, uh, I think, reminds me of the concept of friendship a lot because it moves away from being a Garfield movie. It becomes like more of a Garfield and friends kind of story. So this is a fantastic movie. If I was to give this out of five, I would give this a four out of five. I don't care what anybody says. I walked into, into the cinema, I walked out feeling good about myself. I had laughed. There are some moments it got, it got really emotional, especially when some things are revealed about the dad and, and, and the relationship between Garfield and dad. You know, it evolves into somewhere where you start feeling for, you know, you start feeling for the dad. So I had a great time with that. I felt something. Yeah. And by the time I walked out, I, you know, I went like, yeah, that's... That's a good movie. That's an entertaining movie. Away from everything else that is uh, has plugged our entertainment today. So if you want to see this, I would suggest you go catch it in the theaters. It's worth it. It's worth your money, 100%. Uh, if you can also wait for it on streaming, because I think this is going to be one of the best kids movie out of this year. Uh, it's very entertaining. The editing is good. Voice work, fantastic. The cinematography, the style, the style, it's, it's actually in 3D, there's exaggerations in terms of uh, the character designs, but they still look very colorful, they're popping, they're, they're, they're very, they're, they're cute, they're very, very cute designs, so kids will have a great time with this. So basically that's it, remember to always watch what you enjoy and enjoy what you watch. If you're here and you've subscribed to my channel, I want to say thank you, I love you guys, you guys are awesome. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Uh, why should you subscribe to my channel? I, I, I do a lot of movie reviews. I do a lot of series reviews. Mostly not actually series reviews, not all of them. I just look for weird stuff to review. Like I was reviewing Clarkson's, Clarkson's Farm. I was reviewing Conan, Must Go. You know, those, those pockets of weird shows. And mostly I do pop culture discussions and I review movies also. So if you are interested, you can join me. I know everyone on YouTube has an opinion. I don't mean my opinion is superior than theirs, but it might give you a different insight into what you consume. So basically that's it. Have a great time. Have a great night. Have a great day. And I shall see you on the next one.